Someone today on the phone asked why a Doyle cradle cover costs so much more than a boom cover. Because, after all, isn't it about the same amount as umbrella? I'd never heard the question put quite that simply before. And I realized the best way to answer it is like this. The Stackback cradle cover system isn't just a boom cover. It catches the sail when it comes down. This is one for a Lagoon 400 catamaran. Not the longest, uh, but certainly with a full batten cat sail, one that has to be rugged, strong, and able to contain the sail. For sails this size, the entire cover has a Dacron lining. The Dacron adds structure to the cover because just plain umbrella isn't especially strong. It provides chafe protection so that reef blocks, batten receptacles, and even sometimes just plain stiff sails don't chafe through the umbrella. And it makes it slippery. If you've ever stepped on a sail on your deck when it's on top of itself, you know how slippery Dacron on Dacron can be. With the Dacron inside, the cover's stronger and works much better. The cover also has, on each side, a full-length batten pocket. The batten pockets provide rigidity to the top of the cover and allow the sail to slide in much better and give it a neat, trim look. They insert from the front and they're chased by the Velcro into the pocket, which holds them there. We typically, for at least catamarans and similar sized boats, use a 5 8 round batten, which means you've also got two spares for your sail just living inside your cover that could be trimmed to fit in an emergency. The front of the cover comes in two styles. It wraps around the mast with the nose piece, like this, or on larger boats, we terminate the cover at the front and just have it turn and head right into the mast, covering the sail in front of the sail but behind the mast. The top of the cover has lazy jack attachment points with significant hand sewing at each of the four points on this one or three points on smaller ones. There are reef slits positioned in the bottom of the cover that correspond to the girth of the sail at each reef, the third, the second, and the first. Although the ones in the back aren't often needed because the reef lines can exit out the bottom like this. The cradle cover sits connected to the top of the boom and the bottom of the cover uses the slides like that or often just the rope itself. The zipper is one of the most impressive features. This zipper is quite large. Good size zipper which for a little scale is about 30 millimeters tall, over an inch. It's a number 15 zipper, significant in its mass, which means it lasts longer in the sun, but it rarely sees sun because the cover, when closed, covers the zipper. It's tented so that when the zipper is closed, it doesn't see sunlight. All the thread in the cover is sewn with Gore-Tex's Tanara thread, the most UV resistant thread on the market. It's built to last in the sun in a tropical climate to control the heaviest, bulkiest, toughest sails and to keep them longing, living longer in a harsh environment. It's very different than a boom cover. A boom cover is a piece of umbrella draped across the sail to provide a little bit of shade. This is a mainsail handling system that catches the sail when it falls and protects it uh, from the sun and the elements when it's down.